Hello everyone, welcome to my basement. Uh, I am doing a uh, educational video for Jazz YYC. Uh, my name is Jonathan May, uh, and I'm here to talk about the hierarchy of time. Uh, so the hierarchy of time, in my personal opinion, is something that is very, well, it's kind of overlooked. We spend so much time working on facility of our instrument and, and so many things that oftentimes we, we, just, uh, we just forget about time and we forget about uh, notation and we just, it's just something that I feel like doesn't get focused on enough because there's so many things we can do with it. And oftentimes we just, so the hierarchy of time is how, let me digress. The hierarchy of time is how we break all the notes up rhythmically and we place it within time. Um, and so, so really what it does is, is it, it gives us the ability to not only play our instrument better, but have a better pocket and have a better groove. Um, it creates a better foundation for time and for playing, uh, and, uh, and, and for, for playing with those around you. Um, so, uh, what I want to do today is I want to break down the hierarchy of time and what that is. And then I'd love to show you two great exercises that I do every day or try to do every day that really makes it just it just really brings your playing together um it brought my playing together quite a bit um so when we talk about the hierarchy of time it always starts off with whole notes half notes quarter notes and we've just been breaking things in half and then after quarter notes if we broke quarter notes in half, there'd be eighth notes. And if we broke eighth notes in half, we'd have 16th notes and then 32nd notes. But all we're doing is breaking stuff in half uh, each time we go down the list, right? Um, so this is, this is more about understanding where some of, these, uh, some of these other notes, things like triplets, things like quarter note triplets, fives, sixes, sevens, how they work. And how they, uh, how how they can make your playing a more musical and make your groove even better. So, we all know what a whole note is. It's it's a held note. Now again, so obviously I'm a drummer. Uh, I'm a percussionist um, and have been for I don't know something like thirty years or something. Um, but. Any of this information can be used for any instrument. It can be used uh, for practice uh, with improvisation. Um, you could take a scale and play through your hierarchy of time. Uh, you could vary your hierarchy of time, which we'll, we'll get into a little bit later today. Um, and just gives you it gives you so many options. So it's not just about notes anymore. It's about time. It's not just about uh, what what scale. Uh, you know, what scale can I play over this chord or what chord tones can I play uh, w within this to improvise on? Um, it, it'll really, it, it'll just really push you rhythmically. Even if you just play one note um, harmonically and use the hierarchy of time to, to move around with that one note, it's going to create a really interesting solo and you'll find too that with the hierarchy of time uh, you can use it um, to really bring a lot of tension and release uh, to your music um, but first like I said we'll start with the whole note the biggest note of all and we all know a whole note is four beats one two three four one two three four right oh and let me also preface this with always practice with a metronome. Um, it's the closest thing to perfection there is. And by no means <laughs> am I ever perfect because I practice with it. My time is my time. Um, but again, it's an anchor point. It's the thing that allows you to play smoother. So let's turn on our metronome. 
okay? So now we got to click. Obviously, it's in four, two, three. So we got whole notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. So I'm also going to play quarter notes in my bass drum foot, and I'm going to play two and four on my hi-hat. So whole notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. Then half notes. Half notes are just two beats a piece, right? Here we go. Half notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now we're going to jump into the almighty quarter note. And the quarter note is almighty because we use it to subdivide everything. Within eighth notes, there's still a quarter note pulse. Within sixteenth notes, there's still a quarter note pulse. Within whole notes, there's still a quarter note pulse. So, quarter note pulse. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so we just played quarter note triplets. Or sorry, we just played quarter notes. Now we're going to play <laughs> quarter note triplets. So, quarter note triplets are strange because now instead of just having four quarter notes to the measure in 4-4, four, four, now we're going to have six quarter notes to the measure. And a really easy way uh, that, I'm going to turn off the metronome for a second, a really easy way um, to learn how to uh, learn how to subdivide or count your quarter note triplets um, uh, is to be able to, well, uh, we also need to know how to subdivide. We always subdivide uh, quarter note triplets with eighth note triplets, which we will get to in a second. But quarter note triplets are every other triplet note. So if we're going to play eighth note triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. So I'm just playing eighth note triplets on my lap. Okay, so it's every other triplet note that gives you a quarter note triplet. So I'm going to ball up my uh, my right hand, okay? Oh, sorry, ball up my left hand, my apologies. So the hand that's open is playing quarter note triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one. Hey, let's do it with the metronome. Three, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two, three, four. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay? So, we go from quarter notes to quarter note triplets. Okay? Let's bring that back in with the metronome. Two, three, four. So, quarter notes. One, two, three. Now, quarter note triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Now, we're going to play eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and. Then after eighth notes comes eighth note triplets, the thing we were just subdividing our quarter note triplets with. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. After quarter note, or sorry, after eighth note triplets, comes sixteenth notes. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So this is where we start divulging from cutting things in half, okay? So after 16th notes comes fives. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So the only way to really get this to subdivide it is just count five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. After fives 
comes sixes. Sixes I subdivide with eighth notes. Here I go. One and two and three and four and one two three four five six 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 one and two and three and four and after sixes come sevens. The only way to do this is just count seven. Three, four. One two three four five six seven. 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 One two three. Four. After sevens comes thirty second notes or eights. I use sixteenth notes to count. Uh, to subdivide this, I always uh, just do 16th notes in my right hand. One E, two, and then double it. Okay? So, one, two, three, and four. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a so we're doing eights, then nines. Nines I subdivide with triplets. Three hits per triplet note. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One. Then tens. Tens I use, I, much like sixteenth notes, I use five in just the right hand, right? So. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get on the metronome. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three. Then one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, one. So those are tens. We try 11s. Just count 11. It's the only way to subdivide it. It's a pain in the butt. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here I go. Okay, so that's the hierarchy of time in order from whole notes to half notes quarter notes, all the way down to 12s. So it really, really helps you establish what time is and where that pulse is. And that's the most important thing for groove. Um, without, without that pulse, uh, you really don't have a groove. Like that's, that's the main thing is that pulse. Uh, and this really, really makes you feel that pulse throughout. Um, and it, not only that, it, I mean, it builds the chops in your hands and um, it would build the chops in your fingers if you played it on piano or build the chops in your fingers if you're playing trumpet. Um, and it just gives you so much rhythmical ammunition to work on for soloing um, or even just, just for playing, right? Okay, so that's the hierarchy of time. Now I wanna talk about a couple of uh, exercises that I often use um, that helps me use the hierarchy of time and makes it a little bit more musical. Um, the first one I'd like to talk about um, so I hail from New England. I grew up uh, in a small town in New Hampshire called Candia, New Hampshire. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I went to the University of Southern Maine um, uh, to get my degree in, in, in music. Um, 
and uh, while I was there, uh, I took some great lessons uh, with uh, a teacher named Les Harris Jr. Um, and because we were so close to Boston, uh, I got to take some really great lessons in Boston uh, with uh, an individual named Bob Gulati. Now, we lost Bob uh, pretty recently uh, in 2019. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it, it still stings a little bit. Um, but Bob gave me some really great exercises to work on time. Because we had a lesson one day, and he asked me, uh, now I should say this too, uh, I had like three lessons with Bob Gulati. He, I, he wasn't like my sole teacher, um, uh, but, but he gave me some stuff that really helped me out and really made me think about the drums and, and really pushed me uh, in a completely different direction than I had ever, uh, ever thought of. Um, so, uh, one of, one of the, uh, uh, one of the exercises Bob gave me was using this hierarchy of time and playing all the way through twelves, but breaking it up. I had never really broken it up. I had played it before, um, going from one to 12 and we're just working on my hands, trying to get as, you know, as fast as I could. Um, but I had never, I had never tried to, to use it with a pulse and, and move it around, meaning, uh, meaning going from like 16th notes to fives to 12s, back to quarter note triplets to nines to fives again. Like, and you can move it all around. And this creates such an interesting kind of push and pull. It just creates so much tension and, 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 and gives you so much possibility. So I'm going to try and, and, and count through this for you right now. So Bob had these things that he liked to call matrices. Um, and there are so many, so many possibilities, uh, for these matrices, um, or matrices, uh, I mean, just think of if you have one through 12 and how many possibilities you can mix these matrices up and move them all around. Now, I have one page that he gave me, um, and I think he said he's got something like 10 pages or, or, or more. Um, and so there's so many different possibilities. And I mean, even on each page, there are, I don't even know, I think there's 25 possibilities on each page. So you have multiple, multiple, multiple possibilities of different lines and different angles at which you can play these notes. So I'll try a, uh, and play one of these matrices for you. I'll, I'll use the, the metronome here to give us some time. Now, uh, I'm going to click this down here uh, to uh, just a singular pulse because I'm going to try and play these one beat at a time. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to give myself uh, quarter notes in my bass drum foot and two and four on my hi-hat. This is, you know, for jazz YYC after all. So we're going to, we're going to play some jazz here with two and four on the hi-hat. So here we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play through some of, uh, one of these matrices for you. So I'm going to split up the hierarchy of time. Okay. So, and I'm going to try and count it for you. Here we go. Ready? One, ooh, two, two, one, Two, three, four. One yano. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One yano. One, two, three, four. One triplet. Two triplet. One yano. Two yano. One, two, three, four, five, six. One e and a two e and a one and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One e and a one, two and one triplet. Two triplet. One triplet. Two triplet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One e and a one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see, I made a little mistake in the middle, sorry, but you can see how, how it can move and make time feel very loose when in actuality you're still giving a very strict metronomic pulse, okay? So this is a great way, so imagine practicing your scales this way uh, or moving it around the drums, not just not just playing it on, uh, on a snare drum, but moving it around and creating melodies with, with this kind of notation, okay? So it gives you tons of options. The next thing I'm gonna talk about uh, is another fantastic sort of warm-up thing. It's called the wig out. 
and Bob, oh, I'm going to turn that off for a second. Uh, Bob, Bob gave me this and, and it took me a while to, to get it under my hands. And it, even to this day, some days I'm still, it still doesn't quite, uh, quite work because it's some pretty fast stuff. Um, but so what it is, is you're moving through the hierarchy of time. Um, but for your hands, now this only goes up to, uh, 30 second notes up to eights, right? Um, so it starts off with just quarter notes, one, two, right? And then the next hand, uh, then the next measure, it moves from quarter notes to eighth notes. So one, two, one, two, and one, two triplet, one, two E and a. So it, it goes through the hierarchy of time in each hand. So it really focuses on, um, on that ability to use that pulse and find where you are within the hierarchy of time. And you might be playing a quarter note on the first beat, but the next beat is, is 30 second notes. They're eights or, or fives, or you could be playing a seven and then the next beat is a five. So it really helps you break up that hierarchy of time. Okay. So I'm going to turn on my metronome here and let's try the wig out. Okay. Now you can actually find, uh, you can find some great YouTube footage of Bob, uh, Bob Gulati playing the wig out. I'm sure if you did a search, um, Bob Gulati wig out, you could find it. Uh, and it is incredible to watch, uh, Bob play. So let's do the wig out here. Okay. So, uh, while I'm doing the wig out, I'm going to do kind of a samba bass drum in my foot, kind of a, a double time samba bass drum two and four on the hi-hat, okay? And then with my hands, I'm gonna play the wig out. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two and one, two triplet, one, two, e, and a one, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, triplet, one, two, and a one. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, E, and a one, and two. One, and two, and one, and two, triplet, one, and two, E, and a one, and one, two, three, four, five, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and one, E, and a one, and two, one, and two, and one, and two, triplet, one, and two, E, and a one, and one, two, three, four, five, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and one, E, and a one, triplet, two, one, triplet, two, and one, triplet, two, triplet, one, triplet, two, E, and a one, triplet, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, triplet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, triplet, one, E, and a one, triplet, two, one triplet two and one triplet two triplet one triplet two e and a one triplet one two three four five one one two three four five six one triplet one two three four five six seven one triplet one e and a one e and a two one e and a two and one e and a two triplet one e and a two e and a one e one two three four five one two three four five six one two three four five six seven one e and a one e and a two Ah, one E and a two, and one E and a two triplet, one E and a two E and a one E and a one two three four five one, one two three four five six one E and a one two three four five six seven one E and a one two three four five one, one two three four five two and one two three four five two triplet, one two three four five two E and one two three four five 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 six one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five one. One two three four five one. One two three four five two. Two triplet. One two three four five one e and a. One two three four five 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 six one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five one. One two three four five six one. One two three four five six two and one two three four five six two triplet. One two three four five six two e and a. One two three four five six one two three four five one two three four five six 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 seven one two three four five six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, two. Triplet. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. E, that L. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. E, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Triplet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. E, and L. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one E and uh, one two three four five six seven one one two three four five six seven two and one two three four five six two triplet one two three four five six two E and L one two three four five six one two three four five one two three four five six seven one two three four five six one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one one E two one E and a two triplet one E and two E and a one E one two three four five one one two three four five six one two three four five six seven. Whoo! Two and two triplet. Two e and a one. One two three four five. One two three four five six. One two three four five six seven. So that's the wig out. Made one or two little little flubs in there, but you get you get the picture. You get how clear. That can make your time, how it can help you create so many options and so many, so many rhythmic variations. And also, it can really work on your hands because at the end, when it, when it goes eight and it's all left, whew, it's hard. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I hope to put out a few other videos. Um, but I also hope that quarantine ends sooner than later. Um, but I hope to put out a few uh, other videos while we're kind of in our homes. Um, and uh, I hope you learned something today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much, JazzYYC. Uh, I'd also like to thank Plunge Audio for my in-ears that I used today. Fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, if you uh, would like to contact me or interested in talking to me at all, you can reach me at John May Plays Drums at yahoo.ca or you can reach me at johnmayplaysdrums.com. Thanks so much. Bye bye.